Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to the Haldane Fine Art YouTube channel once again. I am Angus Haldane and today we are going to look at the Queen's House in Greenwich. The Queen's House in Greenwich was designed by the great architect Inigo Jones and he built this for Queen Anne, the wife of James I of England at the beginning of the 17th century, immediately after he'd returned from a tour of the continent. Now, for you and I, a tour to the continent might involve us taking a Eurostar to Paris or a cheap British Airways flight to Malaga. But for the majority of the 16th century, England had been at war with the majority of the European powers, in particular France and Spain. And consequently, the beauties, the treasures, the gems artistically of Europe were closed to most artists. So now, imagine that you lived in this building. You would not want your view blocked. And Queen Mary, the wife of William III, who was the monarch at the end of the 17th century, deliberately instructed her architect, Sir Christopher Wren, another giant of architecture, that she did not want him to build a colonnade between the two towers that you see behind me, the Painted Hall and the Royal Chapel for the Royal Naval College. And Wren left the gap unopposed so that Queen Mary from the Queen's house could look straight through to the Thames. So here we are in van der Velde's studio, where Willem van der Velde, the elder, the younger, and even the son, Cornelius van der Velde, painted. The light is light gray, dark egg blue, soft, perfect for painting and facing this way you can see through the window almost is the Royal Observatory founded under the auspices and the patronage of Charles II. The walls are full of glorious van der Velde paintings and this is the view that greeted Willem van der Velde the elder, the younger and the even younger every morning towards the end of the 17th century. Out of their window they could see the hill, they could see the building of the Royal Observatory as it was founded built and developed throughout the second half, under the auspices, under the patronage of Charles II, who didn't use just art, but also science as a weapon for diplomacy and self-aggrandizement. And he founded the Royal Observatory. He sponsored so many of the fellows who would go on to make the major discoveries in science in the early and the later 18th centuries, and certainly laid the groundwork for major scientific discoveries thereafter. And of course, at the top of the hill is the home of Greenwich Mean Time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you for the next edition. Many thanks.